Greetings, pokey people. Ichigo90 here. And today we are going to solo the Hoenn region in Pokemon Ruby using its grass type starter. I did cheat a little bit to make our starter shiny. I don't know what's going on with that name, but it's fine. We're going to give it a nickname in a minute. Also, I did turn off the cheat after the battle with the Fuchiana. So, the way this is going to work, just like before, we're only going to be battling with our starter Pokemon. We will, of course, have to catch some other Pokemon to use eight gems but they are not going to be used in battle. If our starter faints, we either reset or let anything else that might be in our party faint. So the first battle with Brendan, it goes just how you think it would. He tries to use setup moves. We deal damage, and as a result, we win. Now, the nice thing about using Trico here is that it has a type advantage against the first gym, so we don't have to do nearly as much grinding as we did with Charmander. And now that Brendan's down, let's go fight Roxanne. And you can see that we're still in our base form. Now one thing that really frustrates me about Trico is that despite it being a grass type, it can't learn Leech Seed. That's one of the most useful things that a grass type Pokemon can do is use Leech Seed on an opponent and Trico doesn't learn it. Now let's get rid of Leer for Pursue since we're never going to use Leer. You can see where Leech Seed would be useful in this battle against the Nose Pass. I mean, we still win first try, but it's just so annoying. The strategy here is just to spam Absorb. If you can call that a strategy. It uses Rock Tomb. Our speed falls. That's fine. We use Absorb. Now, the good thing about Trico is its speed is pretty high. At least in comparison to Nose Pass. I don't know how many times our speed falls, and but we will continue to outspeed this Nose Pass. Super effective. And Roxanne uses Potion. And we just use Absorb again. And now we're pretty close to full health after all the damage we've taken in this battle. Super effective. And here we're just going to use a Quick Attack. And there you go. First try victory. After that, we go fight this team Magma Grunt and Verdant Turf Tunnel. This is an easy battle. Even with the sand attack and our quick attack missing a couple of times, we still win. There we go, we've saved Pico, we've got Mr. Briny's ship available to us, so let's go deliver that handwritten letter to the son of the president of the biggest tech company in the Hoenn region. And then we go fight Brawly. It's basically the same strategy. We just spam absorb the whole time. It is a little annoying that we don't have a super effective move. But their special defense is not great. So even though this battle is a bit more 
back and forth than Roxanne's was, we still end up winning first try. Absorb, arm thrust, absorb, arm thrust. Probably use the super potion, that's fine. Sand attack, that's not great, but our next attack hits and Makuhita goes down. So then we go over to Slate Pour, deliver some goods, and fight Brendan. Wilmer goes down with one absorb. And combo skin. Now this is where I ran into a problem. You see, combo skin has ember, which is super effective. It has peck, which is super effective. And it actually has pretty high defense in both categories. So I have to try this fight a few times. Leveling up between each attempt. Combo skin again, quick attack, focus energy, quick attack, ember. I tried giving strawberry an orange berry. That ended up not making much of a difference. So let's go again. Sends out Whalmer, that's fine. We're at a higher level now. Absorb. I wasn't paying attention before. I guess I got a critical hit when I took it out in one hit. It uses rollout, that's fine. The first turn of rollout basically does nothing. And quick attack takes it out. Now here comes the moment of truth. Will we defeat Combo Skin? Let's try quick attack. It uses focus energy, okay. We'll do quick attack again. We've got it below half health. Ooh, but that ember does a lot. Orange berry, will that do enough? Quick attack. I guess we'll never know. That was a critical hit. And then he sends out Shroomish, quick attack. He hits me with a Stun Spore, that is not good. Paralysis is super annoying. Quick attack, okay, we broke through the Paralysis. Tackle does nothing, that's good to see. Quick attack, and we've defeated Brendan, good. And the Wally fight in Marvel is a joke. Just use one pursuit. Now, Watson took me a couple of attempts. Magnemite has Steel type since Gen 2, and Steel type basically resists every move that we can learn. And the problem was the Magneton. The Magneton has Sonic Boom, which does a fixed amount of damage. And when you're paralyzed every other turn, getting hit for 20 damage at when you have 80 health approximately is not fun. Now, Voltorb can be irritating, but it goes down pretty easily. Now what we don't want to see is Magneton using a lot of sonic booms. Which in this successful attempt, he does not do. And we managed to take it out. 
All right, that's good. Then we go up to Meteor Falls. We find Team Magma stealing a meteorite, and okay, there's no battles here. But we meet Archie. All right, so they're going to Mount Chimney, so I'm going to Mount Chimney. And, yeah, in Ruby, you fight Team Magma a lot, and they use Ground-type Pokemon, which is good, but they also use Fire-types, which is not great when you're only battling Pokemon as Grass-type, but it's fine. I did end up having to fight Maxi a couple of times because I let his Mighty Inna get off too many stand attacks. Yeah, the strategy here was just to use secret power a lot. And there we go. On to the maxi fight. Yeah, he's planning to use the meteorite to make the volcano erupt to expand the landmass, which I'm pretty sure is not how it works, but whatever. Sand attack, that is not good. We don't need our accuracy lowered. The next Pokemon is Camerupt. Ah, we missed again. Magnitude 7, that's fine. So far, it's not doing a lot of damage per attack. Golbat. Now this is the Pokemon that ended up taking me out. Because I ended up missing due to the accuracy drop against the Mightyena. And its attacks do a lot of damage. Yeah, so... Let's go ahead and start this again. This time we open with Leaf Blade. Critical hit, that takes it out. That means our accuracy is not lowered. That makes this fight so much easier. One Leaf Blade takes out the camera up. Now it's time to get revenge against the Golbat. And it hits me with Supersonic. Great. And use a Super Potion. And I snapped out of confusion without hitting myself. Wonderful. Now Golbat is confused. Wait, why is Golbat confused? That yeah, doesn't matter. He used the Super Potion. I broke through confusion and used Pursuit. And one more Pursuit takes out the Golbat. Which means I can go and fight Flannery now. This gem I was worried about because, again, fire type. Slugma went down to one leaf blade. The other Slugma, I used secret power, and it survived on one HP and used sunny day. And a couple pursuits in. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and waste your Hyper Potions. Heaven forbid you save those for your Torkoal, which is your actual Ace. Secret Power? Will this? No, it doesn't do a lot. What about Leaf Blade? Ah, it does the same amount. But it ended up not using overheat for some reason, and that cost it. Good job, Flannery. Now let's go beat up Dad. Let's go beat up our Dad. 
Ah, uh, sleep. That's wonderful. First slacking goes down pretty easy, then vigor off, and I fall asleep. Wake up, strawberry. Oh, good, it woke up. And Vigoroth went down to one leaf blade. Now the second slacking. Will it go down to one attack? Critical hit, so yes it will. Yes, Dad, you lost the Ichigo. Now we can go get the HM for Surf. All these parents came calling. They said they had something to give you. All right, let's go see what they want. Yeah, this is just so sad. They're basically bribing you to be friends with their kid. But anyway, we got served. So let's. So we went over to the weather research facility. We took out Magma Admin Courtney. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to make room for that Pokemon. We're never going to use it. So after that battle, we healed up our Sceptile. and then went to fight Brendan again. And this time the battle against Brendan goes a lot more smoothly. We are at a high enough level now that his Kombu skin does not present as much of a problem. Wilmer, Wilmer is still easy, just leaf blade it. Kombu skin, leaf blade, and that's going to be a two hit KO. Even with the bulk up. And Shroomish is not a problem at all. Poison powder, that's fine. It's not going to do anything. We're right next to the town. Wynona, on the other hand, is a big problem, primarily because of the Skarmory. And it's a problem for the same reason that Magneton gave us trouble earlier. Steel-type resists everything we can do. But I did some grinding, and eventually I got to the point where I was able to overcome the Skarmory. Eventually. Which leaves the Altaria, which is still resisting our attacks and using... Dragon Dance. At Secret Power, we were able to paralyze it. And good, we beat Winona. We're not going to learn Detect. That we, we will never use Detect. So we go over to Mount Pyre. And we find Maxi trying to control a red Pokemon with a blue orb because he's just a really smart guy. Then we go fight Brendan again in Lily Cove City. Swallow takes two hits to go down. Kombu skin. Still takes two hits to go down. Yeah, Sceptile's physical attack. 
Anyway. Wilmer still a one hit KO. And Shroomish is still weak. But it takes two hits. And that's it. That's actually the last Brendan fight. So we go over to Captain Stern. Back in Slateport. There's a lot of back and forth in this game. And Team Magma is stealing the submarine because obviously the legendary Pokemon that expands land is underwater because that makes sense. So then we go over to the Magma Hideout in Lily Cove and we take out this Magma Admin. Intimidates. That's fine, we have special moves. Camera up, Leaf Blade. And there we go. That sprite does not look like someone who would be named Tabitha. But whatever, we're never going to see this person again. So then we get head over to Moss Deep City and take on Tate and Lisa. Is it, is, it, is it Lisa or Liza? Whatever, they're not a problem. Now this is the one time we let someone other than our starter battle because I did attempt to knock out my other Pokemon and I ended up dying to confusion. So this is actually the second attempt. And that was the successful one. So we go to the underwater cavern to fight Maxi. And this was actually a pretty easy fight compared to the last one. Crobat was still a problem. He was... It's 11 hours. He resisted Leaf Blade and actually did a lot of damage with Wing Attack. But Camera Up died in two hits? Okay, three. Okay, come on. Okay, he went down without doing anything. That's fine. With this blue orb, I could... Come on, guy. Why did you think that the red... There was a red orb and a blue orb. And you took the blue orb thinking that was the one that could control the red Pokemon. Aren't you supposed to be a scientist? What happened? What is this? Did I make a horrible mistake? I... I what did you think was going to happen when you triggered the strongest drought in the world? It upset. Weren't you trying to upset the balance of nature? You were trying to expand the landmass. What did you think that meant for the oceans? What is with these people? So let's go put Groudon back to sleep. That's fine. Let, just let the 10 year old girl deal with this mess. And then we go fight Wallace. 
Wallace was actually the easiest gym. Just spam Leaf Blade. Most of them go down to one hit. Whisk Cash, Leaf Blade. False Swipe, we don't need False Swipe. Sea King, Leaf Blade. And there we go, that's all eight gems. Now we can go fight Wally in Victory Road. This time he leads off with Altaria. Now Wally's been doing some training, yo. I have no idea why I just said that. But either way, Altaria tries to set up while we kill it. Roselia, Leaf Blade. I don't know what I expected. Go back to using Secret Power. Delcaddy, now we can Leaf Blade. Magneton, this time it's not a problem. And then Gardevoir, Pursuit, and it's actually going to be a two hit KO this time. Or not. How do you get all the way to Victory Road and you're still using Super Potions? Come on, Wally. The Elite Four, the first three were not a problem. Mighty Anna Leaf Blade. Absol Leaf Blade. Cacturn, Leaf Blade. Sharpedo, obviously Leaf Blade. Shift Tree, Leaf Blade. There we go. Now on to Phoebe. Pursuit? Let's try Pursuit. And that's looking like it'll be a two hit KO. And it is. The second Dusclops. Pursuit again. And it hits me with Confuse Ray. Perfect. And it was a two-hit KO. Look at that. Bayonet. Pursuit. And it uses Spite. Okay. Full Restore. Not really what I wanted to see. But we just keep using Pursuit against the Ghost-type Pokemon. The second bayonet goes down in one hit. And Sableye. Leaf Blade. And there it goes. Now Glacia. Glacia might be a problem. Maybe. For the first Glalie, we use Secret Power. It gets paralyzed and... You look at all that damage. She uses a full restore. We get a critical hit. Secret power. Will pursuit take it out? Yes, it. No. But we survived. And we took it out. Celio. Leaf blade. Alright, that took it out. Celio. 
leaf blade and that took it out wall rain come on leaf blade and it took it out which leaves the second Glalie. Will Leaf Blade take it out? Hey, Leaf Blade coming in clutch. And this is where we started having issues. Shell gone. Went down to Leaf Blade. Fly gone. Went. No. Okay, Sandstorm, that's not too bad. Secret power, and he uses a full restore. But that means that one more Leaf Blade will take it out. The second Flygon. We start off with Secret Power. And it uses flamethrower. Perfect. Luckily it didn't do too much, but it did burn. So that's going to be a problem. Leaf Blade takes it out. And then Salamence comes out. And this is where our run comes to an end. Because Leaf Blade, our savior only does about half damage. The first three fights went pretty much exactly the same as they did before. So can we do it this time? Can we survive a hit from the Salamence? Flygon, we start off with Secret Power. It uses Sandstorm. That's fine. The second secret power paralyzes it. It does nothing. And then he uses Full Restore. Another secret power. This time it's not paralyzed. I don't know what I was doing here. I should have just leaf bladed it. Okay, we'll just use absorb then. The second flygon will use absorb. It uses flamethrower. That nullifies the absorb basically. Sand attack, ah, of course. And Salamence. All right, let's let's try Secret Power and hope for the paralysis. Not happening. So eventually, I realized I needed a new strategy. So I went and got Giga Drain. The first three battles went pretty much exactly the same way they had when when you saw them. Nothing changed. So now that we have Giga Drain and we're coming in at a higher level, can we take out the Salamence? Flygon is now a, almost a one-hit KO with Leaf Blade. I think it's right on like one health. So we'll hit this one with Secret Power, Flamethrower, still not doing much, no burn this time, that's good. And we'll hit it with Giga Drain. And we have about three quarters of our health. Can this take out the Salamence? We'll hit it with Giga Drain. And that does basically nothing. 
We did survive flamethrower. Uh, when we're out of leaf blades. That's not good. So we'll just hit it with another Giga Drain. And it fused fly. Okay. So it was at this point I looked up what moves Skeptile could learn via TM. And it turns out it can learn Dragon Claw. Which just shreds its way through Drake's team. Salamence. And got hit use it as intimidate. That's fine because Dragon Claw is still a one hit KO. And Altaria made no difference. Which means finally we can face the champion. Which is Steven? The guy we never battled? Okay, that's fine. Now, Skarmory here is just as much of a problem as it was with Winona. For all the same reasons. Cradilly. It has Sludge Bomb. Come on. Okay. As long as it doesn't poison, we should be fine. Armaldo, we'll use Giga Drain, and that takes it out and restores a really good amount of health. Claydol, we'll do the same thing. That puts us almost back to full. And Metagross, I actually forgot that Steven has a Metagross. The Steel Psychic typing is not great for us. Well, we almost took it out. Hmm. Dragon Claw? And it survived on a sliver of health. And it would be a few attempts before we got back to the Metagross because it turns out Skarmory has Toxic. And if Skarmory uses Toxic, there is no way we can defeat Steven. I'll just let the battle play out here. It's basically the same strategy as before. Take out Lily. Use Giga Drain against Armaldo and Claydol. But this time Armaldo's not a one-hit KO. Okay, that's fine. One secret power puts it in range to be taken out by Giga Drain. Claydol will use Leaf Blade this time since we're already at full health. It goes down in one hit. Metagross. It resists Dragon Claw. It does significant damage with Meteor Mash. It heals with a Citrus Berry. We did not even get a critical hit this time, and we're taken out. Skarmory. We'll open with Dragon Claw. It opens with Toxic. Great, we're not surviving that. Toxic. Dragon Claw. Spikes, that's fine. That'll do nothing. Dragon Claw again. Aerial Ace. Dragon Claw. Okay, Skarmory went down. We're not toxic. Cradilly, Dragon Claw. Sludge Bomb, that's 
still does more than I would like it to. But it goes down, Armaldo, Giga Drain. Still not a one hit KO. We'll use Secret Power and that puts it in range to be taken out by Giga Drain. Claydol comes out. We hit it with Giga Drain. This time it is a one hit KO. That makes me think that the first Giga Drain we used against the Armaldo was a range and we just never hit it again. Moment of truth, can we take out Metagross this time? We'll try using Giga Drain against it, and it missed with Meteor Mash, that's good. I don't know what Meteor Mash's accuracy is, but the more it misses, the better it is for us. We'll use Giga Drain one more time, and Metagross went down, good. Agron, Leaf Blade. And it goes down, and that's it. Skeptile, Swept, Hoenn. We are now the champions. We took out the Elite Four and Steven with only a Skeptile. I still prefer using... Blaziken over Skeptile in these games, but we still managed to do it. All right. We faced a few obstacles. We managed to get over them. There was a little luck involved against that Metagross, but I'm not complaining about it. My next video... I'm going to solo Kanto again, but this time it's going to be in Pokemon Yellow using the starter Pikachu. Because why not? So we spent 13 hours in this game. Alright, well that's it. This is Ichigo90, and I am blasting off again.